Steve Dotto here. How the heck are you this fine day? Me? I'm feeling a need to do something impressive. And in order to do something impressive, I'm going to share with you some new tools, the do tools, the do button, do camera, and do note that come to us from the folks at IFTTT at from if this, then that. So if you want to learn to do more with your smartphone, you're going to want to stick around today on Dotto Tech. The app IFTTT is one that's long been a favorite of mine. We've done demos on it in the past showing you basically how it works, but it's almost like a junior programming tool. It allows us to take the results or things that happen in one application and cause an action to happen in another application. Very cool concept and really coming, it, it's kind of the coming of age of this app society that we live in. In the past, we used to be, build these big monolithic uh, suites of tools like Microsoft Office where Excel and Word and and your email and everything were all combined under one roof. But now we've taken and we've parceled out every little task and we've made it an app of its own. But sometimes those apps need to talk to each other. So we use a tool like IFTTT to create those linkages. And as I mentioned, we've shown that in a video in the past. But now the folks at IFTTT have taken it one step further and they've given us some tools to create those little macros, to create those little recipes on our smartphones. This is available both iOS and Android and it is really eye-opening. Let me see if I can walk you through it. So there's three different applets. I'm going to call them applets. It's probably not the proper term, but they are. They're tiny little apps uh, called the Do Button, the Do Camera, and Do Note. The Do Button is kind of the catch-all. It'll do almost anything. The Do Camera, obviously related to photography and using your camera on your smartphone and then sending that picture or doing something with that picture. And Do Note covers more than just notes. It covers calendars. It covers uh, kind of word processing type stuff. It definitely covers Evernote and your task and to-do list manager. So it interfaces with those. And be patient because I'll walk you through each one of these little tools as we go along and try and kind of peel away the layers of what these do apps do, do app, do app, uh, what they do. And then I'll also show you what it looks like in our web browser because it all interfaces back to our IFTTT account. And you need to set up an IFTTT account to do this. Fortunately, it's free. So let's begin with the do button, which is probably where you'll start. And when you first install it, and run it and log into the IFTTT, it will g give you a, it says, look, I've already built this one little recipe for you. And this is what it's called. It's called email a random gift to yourself. That's the top one. And it just kind of shows you the process. What happens is you choose that recipe and a button appears. That button is your magic button. All of these do more apps have the magic button. When you're ready to do whatever it is they're ready to, they're telling you they're going to do, you hit that button, pink, and it then does whatever it says it was going to do. In this case here, it just sent an email to my account with a random GIF. I'll show you the result of that in a minute. It's not that exciting, but it gives you an idea of what you can do with it. Because if we go back to the recipes, you can do other things. Like for example, I can add a recipe and let's add a recipe. Let's show you how that happens. There, they have suggested ones here, a whole bunch of things for families, for fun, for work, and ones that they call essentials. We'll just go into the do essentials. And here you can see that you can do things like, oh, you can talk to your thermostat. It'll talk to any internet enabled device. So if you've got a Wemo or if you've got a Nest thermostat, it will do that. It'll turn on and off your lights if you have different types of different types of electronic lighting. It, I love this one. It will get yourself out of an awkward situation. If you're in the continental US, you, what you do is you tap on that, you enable it, it becomes a button that you hit and it sends a phone call to you so you can get out of that bad date if you have to. So you get an idea. They're all just really single purpose things. It'll do one thing, but it does it quickly and it does it efficiently and it does it without us having to open the individual app to do it ourself. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So they, uh, so those are the, you know, the beginning of the collections. You aren't limited to just the suggestions that they have here. There's a, a fairly straightforward way of creating your own recipes and even sharing those recipes with others, which I'll show you in just a moment. So those are the, that's the do more. I believe it's called do more. Let me just check. It's the do, yeah, the do button, sorry, the do button. Next, in a similar vein, 
is the do camera. Now this will allow you to do things like if we tap on the plus, that again takes us into the essentials, the same basic families, but the essentials for cameras include to email a photo to yourself, awesome, to quickly resize one to 500 pixels, great for people that do Instagram type stuff, to automatically upload a photo to Vicar, Flickr, so, or to send a photo to yourself by email. So this will then do those, per, those, uh, those, uh, those different tasks. Now you might be thinking, well, it's no big deal. You know, when I take a picture, I can email it to myself, but that's usually a multi-step process. This is one step. If I say I want to email myself this photo, I tap on the button, <coughs> I add the recipe because I haven't yet installed this button. So this is the process that you go through. Now it's choosing the photo. Here I am. Hit the button and now it's emailed it to myself and it's asked me if I want to save it. I'm going to save it to my camera roll and there we go. So now we should uh, we should head back over to my email because there'll be a couple of emails. There it is. It's coming in right now. So let's. So I think they're all in updates. So there's the first one that I sent, which is that trending gift to myself. And for some reason, it appears in my. Uh, it appears in my updates folder. But there's the gift that I sent to myself, which is just a silly little animated gif. Oh joy, it's a dragonfly of some sort. But if we go back. I've got the photo that I just took that I emailed to myself. So this can be, as, uh, you know, something as frivolous as sending a photo to yourself like this, but it could also be as useful as sending yourself a note, sending an email reminder to yourself if that's how you like to do things. So you've got lots of different options, but you see how easy it is. So now, next time that I launch, let me just back out of this. <clears throat> next time that I launch the do camera, you see that that email of this photo of yourself is available to me as one of the options. Well, actually I, I put it in twice. Uh, so there it is and it's available to me instantly. So it's that easy to add these pre-baked recipes. And once you get the app, I'm not going to spend a lot of time now going through it, but once you get the app, you'll see how many different ideas. You'll get ideas for ways of doing things that you never thought of before by using this. The last is do note that I'm going to show you. And I obviously, because I'm an Evernote fan, I really like what's in do note. So They've got a couple of different recipes here. The first one that they've got pre-baked is to email yourself a note. So all you do is you tap on that and you can quickly add a note to yourself, comma, and then email it to yourself. A lot of people like to, like to use that as their main way of giving themselves reminders. It's not my preferred method of doing reminders. Uh, and when you go in and you take a look at some of the different things that they do, you can add stuff to spreadsheets, you can tweet and post stuff to your blog or to WordPress, you can see there. But we've got, as we, as we work our way to look, you can even log your weight into Fitbit. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a Fitbit. I'm not sure I want to log my weight in yet. But we see integration to all of these other apps. And of course, as far as we're concerned on this channel, since we do so much on Evernote, being able to add a note to Evernote is something that we would be definitely interested in. And I added that. So let's take a look at how that actually resolves. I tap on add a note to Evernote. And I'm able to quickly add a note. In this case, I am voice dictating the note. But once I've done this, I should be able to save it and it will save it to the designated notebook in Evernote. There we go. And now I hit the little elephant icon to say send and I see it, boom, the check mark tells me that it's sent. Now it'll take a few seconds to resolve and to get through into my Evernote account. And while it's doing that, let's jump into the IFTTT web interface. So this is my account that I've already signed into. Now, in the past, I've shown you how to create these standard recipes. Now, these are just basic recipes. I've got things set up for like Craigslist. If a Heil PR40 microphone, I'm always on the look for new mics, comes for sale in Craigslist, then send me a Gmail. So it's got those kind of recipes. And I showed you that in the previous video. But now there's this new tab here, which is the Do tab. If we go into that, it's got all of the recipes that I have enabled in my account available to me here. But I can also go here and I can browse through other recipes to see what other people are doing with the do buttons in order to uh, in, in order to make themselves more efficient. And as I say, browsing through this is a real experience and you'll get lots of great ideas from what other people are doing. For example, there's a really nice one tracking uh, every time you 
click on it, it says, every time you have a cup of coffee, click on this. And you tap on it. So you can actually count how many cups of coffee you have a day, as long as you remember to tap on it. So you've got lots of different options of how you're going to be able to utilize a tool like these little, these do tools. I'm going to call them the do tools. Do up, do tools. Okay. I think that we've waited long enough. Let's go over into Evernote and let's see if it's had time to sync across. And yes, indeed it has. Now, oh, before, let's actually, I, I wanted to show you the actual recipe in Evernote. So I'm going to go back to my recipes here and my do recipes. And I wanted to show you the Evernote recipe because this is the process that you go through in creating these recipes. Now it's a, it's a, a point and click interface primarily for creating them. And what you, and you might get a little intimidated by the body, which is the actual kind of programming language and the script that they've written here. But often that's just a point and click thing where it says do this and it kind of mimics the action and mirrors it. So for example, when I wanted to create that Craigslist post where I would copy, where I would look for something that was for sale in Craigslist and then send myself an email, they just asked me to do the search in Craigslist then copy the string, the URL string that was created by Craigslist and paste it into the field. So it's us it's very often a very easy thing to do and you don't actually have to learn programming. You just have to kind of create the scenario once and then it records that scenario. But you can see here that it's going to give the note the, this title, Thoughts and Ideas. So you might give this Mobile Musings or you might give it a different title so that you can recognize those notes in Evernote as soon as they come in. But you can't create a new, with this particular recipe, you can't create a new title for every note. They're all going to go in under the same title. But you can choose which notebook it's going to go into and you can choose which tags are going to be attached in Evernote. So now that I've shown you the recipe, let's go and let's take a look. There is the note that we just created and indeed it's called Thoughts and Ideas. As we said, you can see it's got the both the tags, the do, and the IFTTT tag to tell me where it came from. And because of the way it's set up, it includes a map, a location of where I was when I made that note, which is quite, a, which can be a useful feature. Of course, you can turn that on or off. So there you have an idea of these new do tools from IFTTT. The do button, the do camera, and the do note. I think that they are going to really open up uh, lots of different opportunities for using our mobile phones, both Android and iOS. Hope you found this video useful. Please comment down below. Tell us if you've come up with great recipes. Share them with the share them with the community in 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 the comments area here on YouTube as well. I'd certainly appreciate that. And that is all the time that we have for today. Now, there's three ways for you to stay in touch with us here on Dotto Tech. The first is please subscribe to this channel. The second is subscribe to our newsletter. Then you will hear about upcoming live webinars and events. We do several a month on a variety of fascinating topics. The surest way that you can know about them is by signing up for our newsletter and then we'll send out notice of upcoming webinars, which are always free and always informative. And finally, Dotto Tech is a community funded site. We are supported by you, the people who view our videos through the crowdfunding site, Patreon. If you wanna know what's involved in being a patron and the benefits of patronage, which there are many, I encourage you to drop by our Patreon page and have a look. That's it for today. Till next time, I am Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.